Okay, so let's look at this trade page further on buying a call vertical. Remember again, our stock price is 1255, and in this case, we are buying a call vertical. So how do we set that up like we talked about? We bought the call option that was just directly below the strike price, and we sold the call option that was directly above the strike price. And in this case, it cost us $4.90 to do that, which as we know, is always times 100. So the cost of this vertical was $490. Now we know our defined risk formula is the max loss on a bought vertical is the cost of the vertical. So we know now the most we can lose is $490. But what can we make? Well, it's a very similar formula. We, we always look at the difference in the strikes as the complete size of the trade. That is everything. Profit and loss combined is the difference in the strikes. What I mean by that is, if we take the difference in the strikes here, 1260 and 1250, we get a total difference in strikes of $10, which, as we know, is always times 100, so it's $1,000, which means the total size of this trade is, is capped at $1,000. If we add up profits and losses, the most it can equal, it's always going to equal, is the total difference in the strikes. So, if I told you the most you could lose on this trade is $490, what do you think the most you can win is? Well, remember, the totals have to equal 1,000. So you're correct when you say, the most I can make is $510, because 510 plus 490 equals $1,000 equals the difference in our strikes. And that's how it always works on selling or buying verticals. The difference in strikes is the most the trade adds up to. When you add up the profits and losses, that's the most that is involved. So max profit when we buy this vertical is 510. Max loss is 490. Already that should trigger something in your head. I can win more than I can lose, which means my POP must be less than 50%. And in this case, it is. It's 48%. But we're always trying to get to around 50% when we buy verticals. We will learn more about the rules later. But once again, you can see even 48% is a much higher number than the standard average of buying a call option by itself, which is about 35%. Big difference, right? 35 to 40, as we have seen, is a much bigger difference. So by defining our profit here, right, by not making an unlimited profit potential, but by actually capping our profits, we have made our POP go way up from where it normally would be if we just bought an option by itself. And that is the point of buying verticals. We improve our POP by defining our profit in this case. right? Our, our, our loss is always defined when we buy anything. When we buy an option, whatever we pay for is what we can lose. In this case, you can see the loss is much less but the profit potential is much less too. So by defining our profit potential, we've increased our POP and we buy a vertical. That is buying verticals in a nutshell. So now let's look at the profit and loss scale for buying verticals instead. So remember in this case, we are buying a call vertical. So that means we pay the money up front. So in this case, we're actually paying 490 at the gate. That's what we're spending on this vertical. And the most we can make is 510. And remember, the difference in strikes here is $10, so it's $1,000 total. And you can see if you add up the potential total loss and the potential total gain, it always has to equal the difference in the strikes. So in this case, once again, somewhere in this range is where we're going to end up at the end of this trade. Somewhere on this profit and loss scale. Might be break even price, you might make nothing and lose nothing. But worst case scenario is we lose what we pay for it. And best case scenario is we make 510. And that's how we look at profits and losses for buying verticals 